hello everyone and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be taking you outside so you can see some of the new furniture we received probably over the last couple of weeks or so i've been meaning to show you all this um, but i wanted to get some other content out but today is today so i said let me go ahead and film this so i can show everyone what we received um, a couple of weeks ago so i'm gonna open the door and take you all out on the alumni first i need to unlock it <laughs> Okay, just want to, want to let you all know that um, you may hear a little background noise because as I stated before, we back up to a road. Um, we do have trees there, so you can't quite, you know, you can't see a lot of the traffic, but you can hear a little bit. So I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can and adjust the volume when I start editing the video, but I just want to give you all that disclaimer. So here is the patio furniture or the little nigh furniture. This is from West Am. It's either the Porto or the Port Side. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll pop it up in a video uh, once I confirm it. But it is absolutely gorgeous. These are swivel chairs and we have two of them. And let me show you what it does, the swivel. Okay, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to go all the way around. Come on, patio furniture, don't embarrass me on camera. <laughs> but there it is, you see how it swivels? It swivels 360 and it is so comfortable. Um, I mean, it's not like inside furniture, of course, because it has to be sturdy to withstand the elements, but it is, for patio furniture, it is comfortable. And it's like a light gray. Let me bring you all a little bit closer. It's like gray and tan, but the further you get away from it, it looks more grayish, like a very, very light gray. And it has like this weave. I don't even I don't even know how to describe it. It's like rope almost. Um, but it is very, very sturdy and Please excuse my raggedy nails. <laughs> it's time for me to paint them again. But yeah, it is so pretty. It's And this is gray. It's like a dark gray. So it contrasts really well with the dark gray here and then the cushions that are light and with the brown. So to me, wood and gray goes really, really good together. And this actually matches the same, this wood actually matches the cabinets that we have in the screen in porch. And I'll show you those because we finally received all of them. So I have all four of them and I'll show you what those look like. Yeah, so we have the swivel chairs and there are two of them. And let me just take you around the back so you can see what it looks like. Everybody say hello to Ryan. Ryan say hello. <laughs> oh, she's like mommy what are you doing so yeah so i have two of the swivel chairs and i mean we have two swivel chairs and then we have this lovely sofa still have plastic back here but yeah so this is what it looks like in the back here's the sofa oh 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 <laughs> wait a minute oh peppa pig and george are back there so Apparently you see that my children, I think it's probably the youngest one, have been playing with this. It'll be easy for me to take those out. But yeah, so this is it. And I, I wanted something that was a little bit more masculine, a little bit more modern, because the other furniture is like, you know, it's brown, it's more cream color. So I wanted to have something that was a little bit darker. But then, you know, although it's very modern and kind of a masculine, to me it's a little bit masculine, I wanted to soften it up a little bit with the round edges. So when I saw this, I knew that this would be absolutely perfect. And I'm not quite sure as far as the placement where it would be. I'll probably leave the sofa here and then maybe move these two chairs right there. So they're looking, they're facing in. So I think that'll probably be like the best positioning for them. And of course I still need to get like a large area rug for this space and i'm not sure as far as like the colors like with the pillows and the decor if i'm gonna go with like black and white 
or add some pops of color. It really hasn't come to me. I really haven't seen what I'm looking for or what I feel would be like the best thing for the space yet. So I guess it's one of those things. I guess I'll just know it when I see it. But for now, we have been enjoying like the sofa, the swivel chair. The girls are loving it. I'm loving it. Need to take the plastic off of this, but I love this furniture. I'm about to take you all in the screen porch and let you see what we have. But first, I want to mention two things. The first thing is this egg chair. This is a new egg chair. <laughs> you never even saw the first egg chair because I, I took it back. I, I purchased it from Target and I think it was one of those impulse buys because it was on sale. It's like 25% off. Uh, but when, once it got here and I took a peek on the inside because some of the tape had, you know, kind of come off a little bit. I did not like it. And maybe did not like it is a strong statement. I just didn't feel like it would fit the space. So I sent that back to Target, or not sent it back. We returned it back to Target. We loaded it up on my husband's truck and took it back um, to Target. And I got this one, um, and this is from Lowe's. This thing stays out of stock. Like I was stalking a website like every single day. I signed up for the notifications, which they did not send me a notification when it was back in stock. I just so happened to see it was back in stock and it sold out within two days. But of course, when I saw it was in stock, I went ahead and purchased it. And this is a little bit different from like your traditional edge chair, although it says edge chair. I mean, it still is an edge chair, but most edge chairs are somewhat oval. And this one is like almost a perfect circle. So it is very round. I can't wait to show you all what it looks like uh, once um, I put it together. And I mean, means my husband <laughs> is going to put it together. But hey, maybe I'll give it a try and put try to put this um, chair together. So the next thing is this door. This is the door that leads into the screen porch. We are eventually going to change it. I don't think it'll be anytime soon, but definitely it's going to be changed. It's not our style aesthetic. I mean, it, it meets the needs right now of having a door. In that sense, we're just gonna keep it because we have other projects we need to get to. We are definitely gonna change the door. Maybe gonna do some staining because as you can see, we have measurements here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do something because they just roll all over this when they were building this patio. But yeah, so let's go inside so I can show you what these cabinets look like. So here we are inside of the screen porch and we have four of them. The last time when I showed you, we only had two. So they delivered two, these two right here. And then the other two, the one that are the actual closed cabinets, this one and that one over there, those were delivered maybe about two weeks afterwards. Well, actually only one was delivered because they broke one. I'm not sure if it was damaged in the warehouse or damaged when they were trying to load on a truck. So they call me and say, hey, Miss Major, we're gonna have to order you another one. Luckily it was in stock. And so it was delivered maybe about a week, week and a half later. So we have both of these. And let me show you what the cabinets look like on the inside. So it's, the shelves are at the same height, which is really good, but this is gonna be good for things that we want to keep out of the elements. And granted, we're not gonna be able to keep it 100% out of the elements because there is some spacing in the back there. So you'll still get air and stuff inside, but it won't, we have, won't have to worry about, you know, rain. Although we won't get a whole lot of rain, but just, you know, different particles. Look at this, this is pollen. You see that? So we're gonna have to come and, um, clean this off and while I'm here this is like a cement top um, so this is going to be good for as far as durability when it comes to you know things being up here so I have a few items here just trying to see what it will look like and a lot of these things are probably going to go into Kylie's room because she wants pink and she wants like a ballerina theme so I'm probably moving some of this stuff to her room and I purchased this piece of artwork right here just like macrame 
piece of artwork from Ross because I wanted to just lean it up against the wall. I wanted one more, uh, but that's been about three weeks ago and you all know how Ross is. I'm not sure if this is going to be back in rotation, but I'm, I'm still looking for every time I go on Ross, I'm looking to see if there is another one. I do want to mention one other thing. We were hoping that the doors would, the hinges would be like on the opposite side. So they're on the same side for both doors. And we thought it would be really good if the hinges were on the opposite side for one of the doors to give it more of a custom look. But it didn't happen that way. <laughs> but it's definitely not a deal breaker. We still love it. It looks almost kind of custom. So it is going to be really, really nice once I get everything situated. You know, my dishes, napkins, decor. Not sure if we're going to put a TV or anything right there. We may because, you know, we have the space for it. That's what that looks like. And then we kind of just pan around so you can see everything else. We got some pillows over there. More stuff, well not more stuff, but there's a few other items. I'm not sure where the egg chair is gonna go just yet. It may go over here, it may go right here, it may go right here. It still need a rug for this area and need a rug probably for here too. Cause as I stated in, my other video, we're gonna have a table. I ordered a table about a month, two months ago. It's not supposed to ship until the end of this month. So we'll see if I get an email and say, hey, it is still on back order. So I'll see what they state. And this is wood. I wanted to mention this too, that this is like a wood, but they've treated it some kind of way where the weather doesn't really affect it. And it's almost kind of hard. At first when I felt, I was like, this feels, it feels, a little light metal but it's not but this color of this wood is the same color as the wood that's on um the patio furniture so it definitely is a cohesive look it goes really really good together so that guys is the end of the video this was a short video it's one of my little major mini videos that i wanted to bring you all so you can see what was going on hopefully i can set them set some things up in the next week or so um, so i can show you all exactly what it's looking like and how it's going to evolve uh, so thank you all so much for watching the video if you aren't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the recent updates to the lanai slash porch and also for the screen porch. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all on the next video. Bye.